That one's killed me off. Yes! I'd have gone for another one with a spotlight. On your own versus with a buddy. Turn this down for copyright. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like last week, it's Monday today. Last week, for, for me personally, was really shit. <laughs> it was really, really crap. It was just like, you know, you know when just <laughs> happens and then gets in your way and you're just like, ah. <sighs> Really? Anyway, it, it was really, it was really, really crap week. And um, today is Monday, i.e. the beginning of a new week. I made a post last night saying we're going to turn over a new page, blah, blah, blah. And we have done. We've come in, first thing, on a Monday morning, freaking smashed it, eight reps on the bench press, pause for the first time ever. Yes. It's just been a really, really good session. Endorphins are flowing. I feel really, really good. And it's just what I needed to start off. I nearly drop you every time I take off, take you off this. I, I balance you up on here and I nearly drop you every time I pick you up. It's just what I needed to start off a new week. Started off in a positive way, in a good way, in a happy way. New week. New goals. New boxes to be ticked. And that's one of them down already. I feel really, really good, guys. I'm so glad I did this. I nearly didn't train. Let's make this a good day, let's make this a good week. Let's do this. Amazing. I'm in this weird position where I feel like I feel like I'm doing really, really well. Like in 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 the gym. It might not seem it to like you guys watching at home or whatever, but I, I feel like I'm doing really, really well. I feel like my, my weight has gone down a substantial amount. And I'm making PBs, like that's a PB on the bench press. And you know, I just feel good like I, I feel like my weight hasn't gone anywhere for a good two weeks, but I look better. So I don't know whether you know if you've been watching for a while, you know that sometimes 
<laughs> sometimes my body just like holds on to the three pounds and then I will literally drop it overnight. Um, I feel like I'm waiting for that to happen and then I'll just, just drop down to like 166 pounds or something like that. You know? I don't know, but I feel like I'm just doing really, really good because lifts have gone up, body weight's gone down, composition has changed for the better. We're in a good position moving forwards because I honestly feel like if I kept going the way I'm going, I could hit 100 kg shoulder press while still in a deficit. I don't think that's what I'm going to do because that would be detrimental to other parts of my training and recovery and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like I could do it. With what I've done so far and what I know within myself, my capabilities and, and everything, I know that I could do it. I just don't think it's actually going to happen because I don't think I'll push myself to do it because I'd have to sacrifice other stuff for it and I don't want to do that. There's no rush. We're in this for the long run. I feel really good. So I think it's fair to say that things are shaping up quite nicely now, 168.8 pounds this morning uh, and here's a little bit of posing that I did, just, you know, I, I, I'm feeling feeling good, feeling positive and um, looking forward to seeing, you know, what happens over the next sort of three to four weeks and um, by then I think we'll be in a position to kind of reevaluate the whole situation but that'll be 25, 27, something like that, pounds. I've got so many numbers running around in my head so I just literally don't even know. But it's leg day today. We are bombing some ghost, using a predator shaker, wearing a farm fitness tee. Because we don't give a damn. I thought that was sour apple, it was sour watermelon. <laughs> so one thing I have been doing, um, I think religiously would be a, a fair kind of, hang on, wait, it's just some live YouTube TV here. Um, one thing I've been doing religiously since starting, since starting, since kind of a few videos ago, is using this. This is a pulse roll. It is essentially a massage gun. It is like going and having a deep tissue massage. Not exactly the same, I know. But it's like one. In your hand. It's awesome. So, I'm just going to go... I'll tell you what, you'll be able to see better from down here. So, if I put you down there. My flexibility overall is pants. It's never been good. My dad's isn't good. My sister's isn't good. My mum's isn't that great. It's a family thing that we don't have great flexibility, right? So it's something that I have focused on for maybe the last six weeks or something like that. And I think we've had this for about four weeks of that. Just a lot more stretching, a lot more foam rolling. Um, foam rolling, sorry. A lot more focus on recovery because I felt like I was getting to a phase where I was 
blasting and blasting and blasting my body in the gym and doing nothing to recover. And we ordered this at Body Power, and my God, it's awesome. Like, it has literally instant effects, right? So here is my leg flexibility right now. I'm gonna try and keep my legs nice and straight. Pull my shorts up so you can see. Okay, I'm gonna try and touch my toes. <laughs> okay, so that's as far as I can get without actually, you know, starting to bend. That is very, very tender. And don't get me wrong, if I went for a run around the block and got my heart rate going and got my muscles moving a little bit, yes, that would increase. But let me show you the instant effects of this. Give me two minutes with this thing. Particularly love this on the, um, the kind of inside of my leg, kind of groin, hamstrings in particular, feels really good on the calves. And immediately, what you will notice is the difference it has on my body. Now, Allow me to show you the difference that this has made. What? Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, Liam, you must have been faking it the first time. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is, I wish I was. That is just how terrible my flexibility is. And that, I've been using religiously before and after leg days. Using it as part of my warm up, using it as part of my post session kind of recovery, if you like. Quite like sitting there with a shake, you know, foam rolling, doing a bit of pulse rolling. And I've been using it for a while. And Pulse Roll have been kind enough to give me a code for you guys. So there will be a link, the first one in the description box. If you do decide to pick one up, you will not regret it. It is freaking sick. Use the discount. LSJ at checkout, use the code, and you will directly be helping me out. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, that money, you know, it will be directly helping me out one way or another. I honestly don't know the complete terms and conditions for myself, but it'll help me out, and you'll get a sick product at the same time. So, pick one up. You can use it all over your freaking body. It even comes in this like sick box, which I accidentally dented and I'm really pissed off about, but it comes with like the guide in here on how to use it, all the things that you could and should use it for. This is obviously where the gun would go and you get all these like different heads. At the top of the box, it tells you exactly what head is useful for what kind of thing and uh, inside this book as well. And obviously how much it hurts. So this one, this one is maximum pain. That's one thing with it, guys, that it, it does hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you, it does hurt. But it is a temporary gain for the greater good. It's like going for a sports massage and, and thinking, you know, you're expecting like a, a relaxing masseuse kind of massage. No, you're going for a sports massage which is gonna benefit you and your body. I, I, re I really like the product, so pick one up if, you know. Uh... Motivational music on in the background. Yarita. Oh, so the physique as it is right now oh, is very much improved, but there's also a lot more room for improvement at the same time. You know? Oh my god, what out of breath. In terms of my um, individual goals, 
for the rest of the dieting phase. I'd love to maintain, if not progress my bench even more. Keep my shoulder press the same, I'd love to maintain every single lift. I don't want to be dropping anything else. I want it to be nice and slow, nice and steady like the rest of it has been, to the point where, you know, I might lose a rep here and there, but nothing more than that, you know. Bearing in mind, that would be a total of best part of 30 pounds down by the time we're finished. If I maintain all my lifts and increase some, that's freaking awesome, you know? And if you think about it, all I've done is just kind of utilize things and maximize factors within my training that just weren't really there, you know? I am making sure I have a bit more routine with my sleep. I'm making sure I have a bit more routine with my food, with my cardio, with the training plan and everything, you know? And all of those things kind of dialed in, you know, funneled down, creates more productive days, more productive sessions, and more productive and sustainable is the word I keep using because it applies so much. Much more sustainable weight loss. So I'm very, very happy with it. When we are finished with this dieting phase, we'll go into a slow, steady, lean bulk. Mm-hmm. You heard it here first. A lean bulk. <laughs> Honestly guys, such a good series, such freaking amazing, <coughs> can't stop coughing. So much fun to film, so much fun to edit. Ah, where to next? Where to next people? Let me know, let me know. Goals with lifts, 100 kg shoulder press, that's got to stay, that's got to remain, that is the goal within 2019. But I've got to get a shimmy on with this fat loss before I do so. Kind of at this weird crossroads, you know? You can't have your cake and eat it, Liam. You gotta make a decision. So the decision is to get a little bit leaner first, obviously. But speed that process up a tad, you know? And then 100 kg OHP. I'm coming for ya. So cringy. Currently running two leg days at the minute. One has been a lot more strength focused and one has been a lot more um, hypertrophy focused. <coughs> I'm coughing in every video, I need to sort this. <coughs> if you are new here, please subscribe. If you are new here, five times a week I train five times. Push, pull, legs, upper, lower. So two leg sessions, <coughs> except I call one legs and one lower because it kind of just Flows. It's essentially the same workout, but one is slightly more hypertrophy focused and one is slightly more strength focused. <coughs> oh, God. That routine will stay the same for the foreseeable future and I have a feeling, well, I, I know I'm gonna stick with this plan with a few kind of tweaks in there. I'll tweak the structure and I'll probably tweak the days according to um, the 100 kg shoulder press once we are finished with this dieting phase. But I'm following the basic structure, but kind of just playing around with things uh, whilst we are dieting. Once we move into the bulking phase, hashtag 100kg OHP, that's when we will focus the training on that one specific goal for a short period of time in order to hit it in the quickest period of time possible. Like I say, you have to pick. You can't have your cake and eat it, you have to pick which cake you want. And I want that 100kg cake. Ah. And that is legs done, ladies and gentlemen. And the physique update, I guess, kind of complete. I'm excited to make like a transformation video once I'm, I'm finally done with everything. I've been saving kind of clips as, as I go along. Um, and I'm gonna make a really cool video for you guys. Like, yeah, I, I just think it'll be really cool. I, I love editing, man. I really, really love editing. I could just sit and edit all day, every day. 
This is the second day in a row that I'm going to be uploading and will be like the fifth one within this, this last seven days. You gotta love this YouTube game to even consider sticking to it because when you don't see overnight success, that's when people kind of veer off, you know? It separates the strong from the weak. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Um, I've structured my sessions not very well this week. Um, in terms of cardio, when I know I'm not gonna get a chance to do any cardio at the, at the weekend, um, and so I'm having to do cardio after a leg day, which is not ideal and uh, You know slightly fatigued, but hey you gotta do what you gotta do, you know That's the kind of balance that I'm talking about, you know I know that the, how my week's gonna work and so I've, I've planned it. No, it's not ideal But it's only for one week, you know, we'll go back to normal next week where I don't do cardio after a leg day But it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please do me a massive massive favor you really smashed it on the last video, on yesterday's extra video. So please smash that like button. Again, it really, really, it genuinely really helps us out. Subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much for your support. I love every single one of you so freaking much. I, ah, I got a good feeling, a good, good feeling about things moving forward, guys. Got a really, really good feeling. Momentum, momentum. Together we will grow. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. So, if you have stuck around until now, one, you're an absolute legend, I love you. Drop the video a like if you haven't already. And two, I'm gonna reward you, okay? Early access to the Predator Nutrition giveaway. Well, not early access, it'll be uploaded on Instagram, but you know on here before they do. Anyway. If you want to know how you can win this entire box, except for the peanut butter, I I'm keeping that, and this bottle, this is for the old man. If you want to be in with a chance of winning over 100 quid's worth of stuff, it's going to be well over 100 quid's worth of stuff actually, then share this video to your Instagram story, share it with a friend, and follow the instructions on the post. You literally have to follow me and Predator, and it's dead easy. Just share like a screenshot of this video, and you know. Those who have watched to this point in the video, you know, might accidentally be favoured in the competition draw, if you know what I'm saying, I'm saying not. No, I can't do that. I'll enter your names into a, a calculator that randomly draws it. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Together we will grow. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget the giveaway. Don't forget Paul's Raw. Don't forget everything. Momentum. Thank you for watching, guys. If you're still watching at this point in time, you're a real OG. I love you. Together we will grow. See you in the next one.